Okay, after weeks of emailing, after dozens of phone calls, dozens of emails, turning up in person multiple times over a period of several days to lobby his press guys, after sticking our hands out to lobby the candidate personally as he went into and came out of events, today I was finally allowed to ask Joe Miller a couple of questions while we moved from a roof, through a lobby, down an escalator, through another lobby, out a door, into an SUV, and then it was over. It was very strange. Hi, Mr. Miller. Hi, Harry. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank Good you for taking you this time. I you appreciate bet. it. Happy to. Let me, um, we've Are we going to walk with us, right, Rachel? So we walk walk sure, absolutely. Yeah, Do you guys Go mind ahead. if we walk, if you guys yeah, stay ahead of us? Inside? Yeah, we, we, need, we need to get to, to the vehicle. All right, if you guys steer, if you want to walk ahead of us to steer us so we walk the right direction, otherwise we'll be on a bridge to nowhere. So I've been talking with your supporters since I've been here. One of the things that I did not know to expect before I got here is how important social issues are to them. Uh, you've really run as a constitutional conservative, fiscal conservative. People keep raising the issue of abortion, marriage, other social issues like that to me. How central are those to your campaign, to your, to your, to your view? Well, I think the life issue is very important. Um, you know, I believe in defending innocent life. I'm a pro-life candidate, the only unequivocally pro-life candidate in this race. In, um, in terms of uh, gay rights issues, there's a man on your campaign payroll who runs a website called HopeForHomosexuals.com. Do, do you, his name is uh, Terry Moffat. Do you agree with him that homosexuality can be changed, it can be cured? Our perspective, and we've answered this question before, is that it really is a state issue. As to how those issues want to be resolved, it should be handled at the state level. And um, as far as your time, that's the point. Who again? Terry Moffat. Okay, yeah, he works with us in the primary. I've not seen his website, so I'm not able to comment on it. Do you agree that homosexuality is a choice? I think that's up to the individual. An individual has to make that decision. About whether or not they're gay or about whether or not they believe that? You know, I'm not going to intrude upon an individual's decision as to what he or she does. The fact of the matter is, it's a state issue. That's our position in the campaign. That's our answer to the question. Okay. I, you know, we're increasingly a diverse country. I mean, I, I want to be straight with you. And as a diverse country, I think it's important that we recognize that there are different approaches to different values. And I think that it's best for states to be able to make those choices. Like, for example, the state of Alaska, this is a good example. We passed out a constitutional amendment saying that marriage is only between a man and a woman in 1998. You know, there are other states that have decided differently. Uh, and, you know, you could probably... Uh, uh, I think suggest that that is something that accommodates the very diverse country that we have today. Is there a federal role in banning gay marriage? Well, I think there's a Defense Marriage Act, which I support. Um, but, but why should but there again, be a federal role there if it should be a state issue otherwise? Well, my perspective is that it is at the core of state issue. But there are federal issues obviously intertwined. You've got taxation policy and otherwise that depends upon certain status. And so as a consequence of the taxation structure of the federal government, there clearly is a role. But I think that ultimately, as the country becomes more diverse, that those decisions have got to be left at the state level. It's something that can keep us together as a country. It can accommodate the various differences that we have in the country. And I think it also allows people to be much more active and involved at the state level in making policy changes. And, you know, just like our founders intended, laboratories of democracy. What better way to see how things work out than at that level? But you, want, also, so you, do, want a federal, you do want a federal role in restricting states' ability to legalize gay marriage. But you, at the state level... You that's support. not what I said. I said that there is a federal role. There are obviously federal decisions that are made based upon the status of marriage. Do you think there should be a constitutional amendment banning gay marriage? That's up to the people. If you got a three-quarters vote ratified, I'd vote for it. You would vote for it? Yeah, I would. Okay, yeah. um, but it, would, it would require an amendment of the Constitution. 17th so, Amendment yeah. came up um, so, at this candidate's forum. Uh, Senator Murkowski criticizing you. Do you still believe that the 17th Amendment could be repealed so that people cannot vote directly for U.S. That, that wasn't the discussion. The discussion was about how the theory is behind the 17th Amendment. Would you support the repeal? Thank you, Joe. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. here at Taproot uh, in Anchorage and to everybody who came out uh, in the bar tonight. It's been awesome. Yeah. We will see you tomorrow night from Nevada where we will be interviewing Senator Harry Reid who's in a tight race with Tea Party candidate Sharon Engel. And maybe we'll interview Sharon Engel or she'll just give a thumbs up sign through a car window. You never know. Uh, tons more footage and interviews from this trip at our mattoblog.msnbc.com.